Hey, free gang, we are coming to you live, but not live, from inside a car. Woohoo! We're on our way out because we are going somewhere very special today. We're going to see our friend Nathan, and he lives somewhere very special, and he's going to be giving me something very special. This is all around a very special vlog, isn't it, Mummy? But first, I'm going to go to a shop and buy something even more special. Yeah, we're going, we're, we've got to stop at a shop first because Katie is very excited of what's happened at this time of year. Because as you may remember, we did a video when we did some food hauls. It might have been Easter, I think. We went to a place where they do a lot of good fruit. It's an Asian supermarket. And, and Katie was excited at the prospect of them having some mangoes in. Very specific mangoes that she likes. And then, as you may recall, when I told her as a joke, no, they don't actually have them in at all. She lost the plot and attacked me. <laughs> Hang on, no. I knew it was out of season for them, but you told me they had some. You lied to me. It was a joke. It wasn't a joke. Isn't I don't know. I didn't find that amusing at all. <laughs> really? I couldn't tell at the time. <laughs> but now they are in. She's going to be happy as Larry, dancing around. And I'll tell you what, this woman, when she gets mangoes in, I might as well not exist. Me and Jojo, not even existing. These mangoes are proper special to her. She's like a lion devouring the wildebeest in the Serengeti. My goodness, it's just peeling them off and everything. I might go as far as to say that this is the most special vlog that we've ever done. Should we just name this special vlog? <laughs> <laughs> How many clicks would that get, eh? But yes, it's a very lovely day. We're excited to be out. We're gonna be outdoors today a lot as well as we're going across to the other side of London to see Nathan. Was our friends Tim and Ava gonna be there as well. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Why are you turning right? That's the complete opposite. I can't go that way, can I? I'm just gonna have to, oh. It's always good to capture the special moments as well. This is not a special moment. This is a stupid moment. Maybe it's a sign we shouldn't get the mangoes. No, it's not a sign. She's too busy acting like she's got mangoes already without actually driving I'm to get the mangoes. I'm too busy thinking about the mangoes, not concentrating on where I'm going. Well, the lights have turned green. You better go, quick. Move. Mangoes. Okay. We're gonna get some mangoes. Yeah, me and you aren't even gonna see the mangoes, mate. It's all down to this one. Should we get in there? Let's go! Go, go, go. Mango, man, go. Ready to work your magic, mummy? Get, don't push me. Getting aggressive again. There they are. Serious business. Smelling, feeling. Sometimes you'll juggle them and see how she feels. Sometimes you just roll them all over your skin, don't you? Just to see how you feel. So good. Everything in here smells so nice. This is how serious it gets. Katie will get someone and speak to them and like haggle and everything and try and get like specifically ripe mangoes. And she'll get like multiple boxes. I have to stay away. This is why they're called mangoes because mangoes away. She bowls in here like she's some international businesswoman representing like the mango industry and she wants to accumulate only the finest mangoes. Look, look, you can see her, like proper like, you know, what about these ones and how much for these and I'll give you this much. She hasn't even got any money. How many boxes you getting? Three. Three. Is that all for you? Carried for you as well. Look at it, it's like Christmas Day. These are looking pretty good and they're feeling pretty soft and squidgy as well. Bob, you got eight pounds. Oh, you want money, do you? Need my help, eh? I'm not even gonna get a look in on these mangoes. Foot dancing. Foot dancing? Yeah. Can you dance without using your feet? That's the real trick. Dance without using your feet. That's like dad dancing. <laughs> not my kind of dancing though, I'm not a dad dancer. I may be a dad that dances, but I'm not a dad dancer. You can carry all three boxes, you've got to earn these. Okay, you're not having any then? No! No, I had them. I haven't had any breakfast. You're gonna let us go hungry. This is what I mean, when these mangoes come inside, you change, you do. Love, compassion, thoughtfulness, all out the window. You've got some different kinds of boxes of mangoes there. What's the deal? So there's one box that's overripe, and then two that are ripe. They have all them boxed up and ready, but you get them to make your own specific box don't you yeah and do you get a discount of course look at her she's so happy of herself we're gonna have a good day yeah mango 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 so are they all going in the boot no they're going in the back they're going in your you're tummy driving. You're oh driving. am i really yeah and i'm gonna eat some unbelievable oh i see that one box has made the front that's curious why does this come with us because <laughs> i get in a mess with them <laughs> because you can't eat them in any civilized manner you devour them <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let me smell one. You can smell one. Oh my goodness. I know. I'm it's... having some of those with you. They smell. Mm. Right, this is getting a bit creepy now. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's too creepy. You never even like this about me. I know. I'm your husband, the one you love. Maybe you should start working in the mango shop. I might love you more then. Do you know what I thought you were going to say? Maybe you should try and be a bit more like a mango. I don't want a man, I want a mango. And a man goes into the driving seat. Man, go and drive the car now. This could be a whole video of mango puns, you know that. No, we've got, it we've got plenty. No, it couldn't. It's, it's called the mango video, renamed. Mango. 
you done now then? Yep. Good. I didn't show myself eating the mangoes on camera. They're good people, the free gang. They did not deserve to be punished with the sight of you face just buried in mangoes. I saw a guy walking past. He was looking like with one of those weird faces on. Like, what the hell is that? Did I just see a woman with her face shoved inside a mango? Normally I'm that guy walking past, looking in at you in the front room like, is that what I think it is? It's annoying as well because the smell's so flipping nice and I want to get stuck in there. No, you're not. You're driving. <laughs> Don't say it like that. How many did you have just then? About four. It's all. I'm telling you guys, normally she does a box of eight. Maybe I did five. Maybe it was five. Bless you, you kiss every single one, don't you? They get more affection than I do. We're in some traffic and it seems that you've gone into some sort of a mango coma. Babe, are you right? Traffic's all right? moving. You're blissing out. I'll take the camera then. If we get there, there's going to be Nathan, Tim and Av. Are you going to share those mangoes with those guys? They can have one each. That was a stretch for you, isn't it? Three whole mangoes gone. Can we stop talking about mangoes now? This isn't the mango vlog. It's a special mango vlog, right? Mango, talk about something else. Yeah. Okay. Talk about something else. What festivals have we got coming up that people can come and see us at? It's one this weekend, which by the time you see this video, I might have gone already. Kent Vegan Festival. The next one after that on the 20th, of May is Dorset Vegan Festival, which is in Paul. Then the week after that is a two day one in Bristol, Bristol Veg Fest. Maybe the week after that is a two day one in Brighton, Brighton Summer Festival. But yeah, all of them are listed in the description. So if any of you guys want to come and say hello, see if there's one near you, one you can get to, then come and hang out. Sometimes we'll have a stall, sometimes we're just there being cool. Who else is that? I don't know. It looks like a leftover shard or something that's been broken off. It's a structure. Do you reckon they built the building and then someone was like, no, I want you to carry on going on and do this thing. And they're like, really? That's somebody's art. Well, there's some even more crazier art over What's there. That? All like spiky bits. Spiky art. Oh, there it is. Quick. Spiky art. The way Jojo's sleeping. He's sleeping with his hands on his hips. That's so cute. Jojo, we're gonna go past the Olympic Park. Oh, God. You went there when you were a baby. We're here. Katie's come equipped with a box of mangoes. She has to have one under arm to make herself feel comfortable. Just gonna go find Nathan now. We get so reliant on maps and that on phones, that when someone turns around and gives you directions, my brain just goes, Ooh. Jojo's choosing a very different way to come up the stairs. We don't need stairs. You just did the reverse rail slide. Climbed up the rail. Oh, that's living the dream. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at those guys down there. <laughs> Is that the sound they're making? Yeah. Look at all those boats. You can see the top of the Olympic statue. That thing. There, looking at the top. What is that thing, mummy? It's a just, piece of art. It's just a piece of art, it is, yeah. It's not actually used for anything. I don't know if they, they're using it for anything. Looks like they're building something onto the, onto it now. Yeah. So can we confirm for the record that you've brought this box of mangoes with the intention to share with other people, right? I don't know. Well, there's a, there's a few really good ones in there that I want for myself. I'm a very giving person all the time. I always give everything to everybody. But? But. <laughs> I'm just not like it with mangoes. I don't want to give them to anyone. You make it sound like I'm a very giving person. There should be at least one thing I don't have to give. Wait, Coming down the rail now. This is a very unorthodox rail slide. You know, Daddy's the king of that. We. Ow! The bottom is rubbish. Are you doing a rail slide now, Jojo? He's doing some sort of like catalog pose rail slide there. Ready? Go. Oh, that's a good one. Three. <laughs> anyway, on to Nathan. Now all of these different boats. Do you have to name a boat? I don't know. I think it's unlucky if you don't. He's got the best name anyway. We're in East London and there's a submarine around. This one actually looks like it's got a face, doesn't it? Look, on the front. I think this is the one. This looks like a dope boat. It's got to be the one. Hang about. There's the name. Nagiv. How's it going, brother? You good? Hello. Oh man, this is nice. This is a dope boat. So welcome aboard the Nagiv. This is vegan farmer Nathan's boat. How long you had this now? So guys, a year today. A year today? Really? Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> What's the date? Is it the 10th? It's the 10th. Today. It's today? Yeah. You ever shot like a music video on here? Like a boat music video? Uh, what would that look like? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me because I'm sailing on a boat. I don't know if it will work. We'll see. Not here. Av's not here. My goodness. Oh, Nav's not here. Oh, Tim's, Tim's, Tim's here though. Tim's not enough. So you've made a business of going through Nathan's stuff, getting his boxing gloves out, revealing his secrets. <laughs> Who are you going to be up now? Shut up! What are you doing there? I'm watching Stanley and Ian Waterman. Look very cozy there. You going to show us around this place or what, man? We've been here like five minutes. Do you want a detailed tour or...? Yeah, man. Show us around.
Alright, so here we are, moored up in East London. Moored up. Yeah. He knows the lingo and everything, up, man. No more in pins. Boom. Good. Look, see, mate, he's bashing his in. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. You're off the boat now. I'm sorry. Got a gas locker here. Gas goes into the cooker. This is a nice little decking area. You see, this sort of a year ago, it was not like this. Pretty this cool decking, now. I remember seeing when you put that up. Yeah, it was me and uh, Jay put that together. What do you think of the decking, Jojo? William, it's dope. What do you think about living on a boat like this? Dope. Couple lockers for storage. Storage junk. Into the palace. Ah, so we got the bowl of rubbish. Bowl of rubbish. Standard is still starting about. Why have I had this? People in here eating mangoes. Don't do a lot of cooking. It's all raw. <laughs> little tea corner. A little drawing station. Of Tim Jacks in my uh, table from me. Got the Berkey filter. Can't have a distiller on the boat because it would be like boiling a kettle for four hours and whack my batteries. Oh wow. So my engine charges my batteries. I have a bank of batteries and that powers everything on the boat. And if that runs out, then boom, can't pump water, can't do nothing. So yeah, distiller, this is gravity fed. It's just got a load of big filters, fluoride filters, carbon filters. It takes that like 99.99% off. Everything in tap water, yeah. yeah. It's nice, really man. Love that clean water. Got a pure water, yeah. Got the log burner there. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, man. Got me through I love the these. Then this area is sort of my living room, but I've transformed it into a tattoo parlor when I need to. You get people come on the boat, get their tattoos. Yeah, yeah. People come down, get tatted up. All vegan ink, all vegan products. Like no bone char, no beetle juice. Can I have tattoo, please, in, mate? In, yeah, Mason, yeah. Can I? yeah. <laughs> Might have to wait a few years, mate. <laughs> Yeah, so no junk in the ink and um, all the products, all the tattoos, soap, all the stuff like that, it's all vegan. We've got a side hatch. Could open that up. Hello, son. Nice. A lot of easy ways to get out. Got some fold up chairs and a fold out table. Everything on a boat's got to at least be able to fold up or have two uses. <laughs> Are those your rules? That's the rules. <laughs> so that will just flip out, flip that across <laughs> there, fold the chairs out. I can't really see my bed because everything that's usually in my living room is now on my bed. So it's all that like compact on the boat and making the most of the space. But I have this drop down projector that goes on this no, screen. No, a drop down projector? Down projector, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so bedroom. And then on to the... Whoa, what happened in here? Why don't you clean up? This is, this is supposed to be a this tour. This place was clean, man. Sorry, free gang. This is not what we expect. We're going to edit this bit out. Yeah? No, 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 no. And there's the bathroom. I'll let you get a better shot of it. This under here is the engine, and this is like my wardrobe. Nice. Look at these man's wardrobe. That's not dirty washing. <laughs> this is just like the man cave, but it's kind of like a utility room. Yeah. But uh, here we can open this, Jojo. Oh my god. Oh yeah, don't fall out. Oh my goodness. This is the boater's cabin. So originally, this is where the boatman would have lived, and the rest of the boat would have just been for cargo. So they'd have like a little drop down table to eat, eat dinner. There's a fold out bed. There would have been a fire there. There's an old hole for a chimney. And this would have been it. Dude would have lived in here, man. The original working from home. Yeah. And this is where it's got the engine. I don't like that sound, Nathan. I'm scared. Turn it off. Stop it. Yeah. And this and is the rudder it. for steering. Steer from here. Oh my God. Original boatman. So you're a boating, tattooist, vegan fireman. Yes. Uh, Living a dream, man. You happy here? Well, after seeing videos and that, but actually being here, I'm well inspired. Like, yeah. this is the dream, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've just noticed that as well. This is proper cool. The flower of life is literally on everything here. Seeing the flower of life everywhere. It's on every handle. <laughs> ah! Babe, this place, have you actually had a proper look around? Mm. Nathan said we can live here with him. I want to live here. Well, I, we could buy our own. Too, I want to live here. Yeah, but seriously, you like it as well. We get our yeah. own. Jojo, should we get our own boat? <laughs> yeah. How cool would it be to live here? You don't realise this goes on for a long time. You look at it from the outside and it just keeps going on and on. There's all these extra yeah. bonus rooms. Yeah, yeah. and this is only yeah, 55 isn't it? foot. They go up to 70 and get longer. I see some proper down. wide ones down there, yeah. yeah. What are you saying? Should we get one? Yeah, let's get one. Mummy, look. <laughs> I'm serious, it's like when you realise if we didn't have the flat and everything. So you're just climbing up. You've been enjoying adventuring around, haven't you? Follow me. You can feel me climbing up then, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
Isn't it cool? It is cool. Where are we going? Mindful steps. Go. Okay, bear in mind, this is Nathan's house, and these are his things. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> the engine's down here. I just need a fixer. Jojo, what happened to you? Hello. You're upside down. Should we do this then? You ready, bro? Yeah. I'm ready. Katie, are you ready? I'm not ready. For my tattoo. Is anybody Ooh. not ready? Ooh. I'm having second thoughts. What about my tattoo? I'm not sure if I should get it now. I'm hyped for it, man. All right. Let's do it. Let's You're do just it. being different, weren't you? I'm just being different. Yeah. <laughs> do you think Bob's too pure for tattoos as well? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I was joking then. I was joking. I'm going to get it on my calf, I think. That's what I said to him. No, no I, think, I think Bob someone. should get it where you've got yours. Okay. So you remember when I said that I was coming to a special place, that's the boat, for a special thing? That's the tattoo. So that tattoo that Katie's got on her back, I'm going to get the exactly same one. There's no. three others. So there's Cammy and Av are the only two ah. that I've got it. So you're going to be gentle with me, yeah? Not at all. <laughs> you don't want me to be gentle. Too bad, the door's locked. <laughs> you ready for Stand your tattoo? Your yeah. I do want you to be comfortable with it as well. I don't yeah, want you no, to no. look at it and go, oh God, you've ruined your skin. And you're making you sound like the kids now. My God, my husband's a complete idiot. So will you draw that on now, Viral? Yeah. Right. We're good? Yeah. Oh, that was easy. All done. <laughs> So what's the setup here, Nate? What we got? Needle, needle holder. Everything's sterile, obviously. We'd like to try and eliminate this stuff, but certain cases. Work in progress. Hygiene, yeah. It'd be cool if the company started doing biodegradable stuff. What's these tools about? It's just an Allen key. You know, open me up. <laughs> <laughs> See if we could um, find a brain yeah. in there. Man. Fine tune me a bit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what you got there, Jojo? Mm. Watching Stampy eating popcorn. Yeah. So, what point do you uh, give me the anesthetic? Slap around the face. Give it a cut. Sort of that. I'm going in. If you don't see me after the end of this vlog, you know, I love you, good okay. Be gentle. Ow! Come here that way. Sun. Oh, yeah, get sun on your face. You get a tan as well. You charge extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all done. Nate, what are you doing now though? You're sticking some cling film on my back, right? I think he's just taking a mick now. <laughs> just like, let's see what else I can get away with. And then uh, after this, we're gonna we do, we do the, the peanut butter. Obviously it's vegan, it's all like, we smother it with that. <laughs> so, so I stay like this for the rest of my life. Can't What's wear a top for three weeks, okay? <laughs> this is my top yeah. now, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Slap your t-shirt on over that and you're good to go, brother. Hi Bo, we'll come back to you again, to test you out. I'm serious, I'm like, we talk about it, but I like, and it sounds like we're messing around, but I could actually live on that. And it's really opened up some ideas in my head. There's some proper funny names of boats around here. This one's called For Sale and followed by a number. If you want to buy it, call it. Maybe you could buy it. You, you buy could it. buy it. It's my birthday wanna, you soon. You said you wanted to live on a boat. I do. It's not your birthday soon. <laughs> Damn it! I nearly had you. Father's Day, I'll have that, I'll take that. Would you live on there? Yeah. I'd live on that particular one as well. He's got it nice there. What are you doing out there? <laughs> We're off to Black Cat now. Yay. This is a proper nice place. I've only been here a couple of times. You're like an honorary member, aren't you? Wonderful people, yeah. We used to host um, uh, cooking. Supper Club. Supper Club. That's there. right, yeah. They're really good. We love Carla and Nacho who run the place and they've revamped it. So it's the first time going back since oh they've it up. So it's a co-op as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's not for profit. Yeah, it's nice. a great job. And they're in the heart of Hackney where it's quite a lot of problem area, but they're a real gem in the heart of that. So yeah, big up them. Yeah. If you're in London, go to Black Cat and yeah. you're about to find out why you should when you see the food we're about to eat. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
part of the love family. There's my one. Very special time. Part of the tribe. Jojo, you've just bowled in and started stealing someone else's food. Is that true, Abby? Did, did you say he could have some? That doesn't look convincing one bit. Jojo, food's coming, babe, but ours isn't here yet. I know. Tim, you got lasagna? I don't like lasagna. You don't like it like that? Sometimes it goes in the pot when it's really like slippy and wet. Yeah. I like it when it's back square on a plate. You don't want it so contained. What's up, Nate? I've got. We've got two burgers, a curry. Hey, don't need to see mine then. Hey? Don't need to see mine then. Oh, you, you, you go ahead and demolish it, man. Let go. I appreciate the vlog courtesy, though, man. How you doing, Jojo? Patience while everyone else's uh, food's here. Not going so well, is it? Don't know about you. I'm not good at this. Other people's food comes, and we just sit here and wait. We'll enjoy it more when we get it. Yeah, right now we're just going to like stare at me. I know, when, when everyone else has got their food, just stare at me. Yeah. You enjoying that? What about you? What you got there, Mummy? You got a burger and chips, right? A burger and chips and salad. That looks banging. That is a hefty burger and chips. Here, free gang, have a go. I'll, t I'll test it for you. Okay. Oh, we got a seitan wrap with a salad and a uh, butter bean and garlic pea curry with an onion bar. All for me, Nathan. <laughs> 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 Screwed over there. Where's he gonna fit away? I lost a lot of blood earlier. He caused a lot of pain. I've got to refill the energy. What are you doing there, Jojo? Salad and chips. You're mixing them together. How's your seitan wrap going in, Mummy? Oh, very good. Well, yeah. You can't hide your eating under a cap. Oh my goodness. Destroy it. Good. Not for the first time, we got way too much food. What's it my fault? It's her idea. I said, no, I don't want to go over the top. He wanted to try more different things. So we're left with burger and curry. Luckily, we have takeaway tubs. Have you learned your lesson yet, mummy? No, you'll eat it for breakfast anyway. Or maybe a snack later on. Jojo, go down the lift then. <laughs> Mummy is trying to say I shouldn't put the salad in there. You shouldn't put the salad in there because it would make the bread go mushy. I've got a system. Don't you shake your head behind me, young lady. Should get some cake to take up as well. It's already learning our lesson, aren't we? The important thing is that we don't waste food, guys. Even if it's left over, we don't waste food. Half the world's food's wasted, so we don't want to do that. You've joined us at a very important moment where everyone's gathered round, analysing the cake, making very important decisions on what cake they will take home or nibble on now. Look how serious this guy is, man. <laughs> Abby's just as bad. Have you come to your decision yet? No, we're sizing at the moment. Sizing. Sizing, oh, okay. Is there a difference in price and size? I didn't even think about price. <laughs> it's not a consideration when picking your cake, mate. One of each? Definitely one to go. One now, though? One now. Oh, naughty. You coming out this way, out the window, yeah? Yeah. You do it in style, didn't you? And we are back. Everyone's tucked up. Jojo conked out. It's been a long, long day. It's been a fun day though, isn't it? I've got a tattoo. I'm, I'm so happy with it. Jamie's gonna be jealous. I know, but no, do you know what? I, I, I've always seen Nathan's bow, but I'm seriously, I've got that on my radar now. That's like goals, living goals. Yeah. Isn't it? Being able to travel around in your home like that, on water as well. Yeah, either a boat or an RV. Or an RV, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below, what do you think about living on a boat or RVs? Remote living, traveling around, something that interests you? It does us, definitely, and even more after today. Mm. So thanks, Nathan. If any of you guys want to know more about Nathan's work with his tattoos, he's got two social media accounts. I'll link them below and on the screen as well. Go and check him out. You know, he takes lots of requests. He likes doing his own designs. He likes doing any designs people bring to him. But before we finish this video, guys, I've just got some shout outs to some of you lovely free gang who have been requesting them. So shout outs to the following people. Sophia Plays, Ashley Santos, Apollo Muses, Ruby Baker, Johnny Charlesworth, Chloe Johnston, Dolls and Me. And shout out for... Moon Fairy Lafay, 
who asked for very specific things to be said by different members of the family and I'm sorry but that's just sometimes too hard so I'm just going to give you guys a special shout out so big special shout out to Moon Fairy Lafay, Cosmo and Astro thanks a lot guys I really appreciate you guys watching the channel asking for shout outs and always commenting if you guys ever want a shout out leave it in the comments below we'll try and get it done in the next few videos and if any of you guys are new to this channel and you think do you know what these guys are a bit crazy going on boats and getting tattoos I'd like to follow them around a bit more then we'd love it if you subscribed and if you are already subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date on when these crazy little videos come up and we will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out